What's going on guys? Bob Busker here again at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at a new motherboard from ASUS. It's their Rampage 4 formula and it's an Intel X79 motherboard and of course it's part of ASUS's Republic of Gamers line. So let's go ahead and check it out. Taking a look at the Rampage 4 formula box, it is a little bit bigger than your normal motherboard box just because there is a lot inside. On the front, it just lets us know that it is the Rampage 4 formula. And of course it is PCI Express 3.0 ready. It says it right there up top. But if we flip it over here, it goes into detail pretty much everything that's on the motherboard. You know, CPU, chipset, memory, everything is on here. So you forgot the store, you really know everything that you're getting with this board. Now, Beyond that, if you go like this, you can kind of open it up like a book and you can take a look at the motherboard. So if you don't know anything about this motherboard, here it is right here, you can see everything. And then on this side, it goes over a lot of details on the actual board. Opening up the box is pretty simple and getting inside, um, just like most motherboard boxes here. So if we open this up, we actually have two boxes here. So we have our first box, which is our motherboard here. As you guys can see, um, get that out of the way. And we have our accessories box, which I'm gonna open for you right now. Let's see what all we have in here. Now, in our accessories box, we'll just go through a bunch, uh, pretty much everything, you know, um, IO Shield. You have an Asus I'm Gaming Do Not Disturb doorknob thing, pretty cool. Um, you know, you wanna put that on your door, let everybody know that you're gaming and to not disturb it. You have one, two, three, four bags of SATA cables. Looks like you have a single Crossfire connector and a single SLI connector. And then you do have a three-way SLI connector. Um, you have this back plate here, uh, an LGA uh, 2011 backplate. I'm not really sure what this is for just yet. Uh, of course, I'm going to get into all that in the review. Um, one thing I love about Asus motherboards is this little thing right here. Um, it basically, you connect this to where your front panel connections go. So you can connect your front panel connections up to this and then plug this into your motherboard. It makes it really easy and everything is labeled as well. So you know, a lot of motherboards, you're trying to figure out, you know, where does my where does my power connector go, all this stuff. This makes it extremely easy, and Asus has been doing this for years. One of the best features of Asus motherboards right here. You have your ROG Connect um, cable right here, and of course, we're going to go into ROG Connect in the review. Um, it's very, very cool. It's only on Asus ROG motherboards. It's a really, really cool feature. Oops. And finally, we have some other stuff to get everything out here. Okay, so finally, we have our you know driver and utility CD. Uh, this little booklet right here goes over ROG Connect. We have a uh, just a little notice here about Intel X79 SATA and RAID modes. Uh, we have these stickers here, which is pretty cool. You know, you can label all of your cables and all that stuff. And of course, we have our user's guide. Taking a first look at the motherboard, of course, since it is a Republic of Gamers motherboard, it's gonna have that black and red and white color scheme here, and it looks awesome. Um, out of all the motherboards I review, I really like the colors of this. Just the red and black goes with everything. And of course, you're gonna be able to match that with Asus's graphics cards as well, which all have the red and black color. Um, so it's gonna look really awesome. Some things to note really quick. Um, you have two very large heat sinks here um, on your power delivery components, and they are connected with a large heat pipe. And then on your PCH down here, um, up into here, you do have two more heat sinks, and of course, they are also connected by a large heat pipe. So I have flipped the board around so you can kind of look at the top here, something you normally don't get to see, especially if it's installed inside of your case. Some things I want to point out, there is a four pin fan header right over here and a small little clear CMOS button that is actually right over here. It's pretty interesting that it's way over there, um, something that is very hard to get to when you're actually, uh, you know, once this is installed inside of your case. Of course, you have your CPU power connector right here and you have a four pin 
fan connector for your CPU fan and you have an optional one over here which we're going to get to when we take a look at this side and of course you have your debug LED right here of course again you can see the large heat sinks right here on your power delivery components of course right here we have our CPU socket which is socket 2011 which supports Sandy Bridge Extreme processors now there is this little back plate here which I wasn't really sure when I opened this up what it was but you know when we buy new things, you know, we spend a lot of money on our CPU coolers, you know, but when something new comes along, a new socket, of course, we have to buy a new CPU cooler. That's a, another, you know, $5,200 $100 that we have to shell out for the CPU cooler. And what Asus has done is included this backplate right here, which allows you to install in a 1336 um, CPU cooler right there. So it's just a way of saving money, something that you know, Asus kind of thought up and was like, hey, these guys are going to be spending so much money on the board and, you know, on the processor. Why not save them some money so they don't have to buy a new CPU cooler? So that is very, very cool. Around the CPU cooler, you have four memory slots. You have two on each side. Now, this is quad channel memory, but it is not the dual quad channel that we're used to seeing. So normally we see four slots on each side, but on this board, we only have two. So you don't have to worry about color coding here, but they are red, so they look really cool and they match the rest of the board. Power delivery on this motherboard is all digital. That means that everything is gonna be very stable and very solid, especially if you're overclocking. Now on this board, Asus is calling this their Extreme Engine Digi 2, and it's made of very high quality components. You have both black metallic capacitors and chokes, so it is a very high-end system. Now we're on the right side of the board. I'm going to go over all of this stuff right here. So you have a, another, this is your CPU optional fan. It's a four pin fan. You have a switch right here, which is to go into slow mode. You have a start and reset buttons. I always love to see those on motherboards. It just makes things so much easier. Now, since this is a Republic of Gamers motherboard and a lot of people like to overclock their video cards, you have these set of dip switches right here, which can be used to turn off your PCI Express lanes. You have four switches, which of course are four lanes, which we're gonna go over in just a little bit. Now you have this go button right here, and this serves actually two purposes. One is when your system's on, you just hit that button and it instantly overclocks your system. And this is already predefined in your BIOS. Secondly, if you're booting up your system, it acts as the memo K button. So if you're installing new memory or something like that and your system's not booting, you hit that, it's gonna find the right settings and get everything up and running. You have your 24 pin ATX power connector right here. And then behind that, if you guys can see, there are two more fan connectors right here and they're both four pin. And of course, right here, you have your internal USB 3.0 connector. Another thing is you see these little contacts right here. There's a bunch of them. And this is what Asus is calling their Pro Belt. And what that does is you can hook a multimeter up to here and read your voltages for everything. So CPU, you know, memory, everything can be read. Oops, everything can be read right there nice and easily. As you can see, you have eight SATA ports and the black ones are SATA 3 gig and they're controlled by the X79 chipset. Now, the farthest uh, red ports, the ones on my far left, they are SATA 6 gig and they're controlled by the AS Media chipset. And the red ports that are in the middle, those two right there, they're also SATA 6 gig and they're controlled by the X79 chipset. Now we're down to the bottom of the motherboard and going across right here, you have your front panel connections right here. You have one, two, three USB 2.0 headers. You have a four pin fan header. You have a BIOS switch. So this is a dual BIOS. So you can easily switch between your BIOSes uh, just by hitting that button right there. You have two more four pin fan connectors and you have your uh, front panel HD audio right here. And over here, you'll notice this big chip here. Um, that is the Supreme FX3 sound chip, which of course we're gonna go over in full detail in the actual review. Onto the expansion slots, you have one, two, three, four PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots, and you have one, two PCI Express 2.0 X1 slots. Now, the PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots, this is how they are gonna run. So if you have one card installed, it is gonna run at X16 speed. If you have two cards installed, they are both gonna run at X16 speed. If you have three cards installed, they're gonna run X16, X8, and X16. If you have four cards installed, they are gonna run at X16, X8, X8, and X8. 
and you also have a Molex connection right here for extra power on your PCI Express slots if it is needed. Moving on to the connections on the back of the board, you have your PS2 port right here, two USB 2.0 ports, you have your clear CMOS bio switch right here, you have optical audio, you have your ROG connect button right here, which again, we're gonna go over all those features in the review. You have four USB 2.0 ports and this bottom one right here is colored white. That is for the ROG connect. You have two USB 3.0 ports, two eSATA ports, two more USB 3.0 ports. You have your Intel gigabit ethernet connection and your audio. So this basically wraps it up for our unboxing and overview video of the Asus Republic of Gamers Rampage 4 Formula Motherboard. Make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org for the full written review. And remember, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.